Computers could be taking over from chemists in the cosmetics industry. Here at the London Centre for Nanotechnology, teams of technicians painstakingly study the effects of new materials at an atomic level. Nanotechnology is the science of working with molecules at microscopic levels, some 80,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. The cosmetics industry is working with this to create new materials with novel properties. Some of the latest products, like sunscreens, contain these materials to make them easier to apply and invisible on the skin. Among those exploring this technology is a budding perfumer and theoretical physicist. Jenny Brooks doesn't rely on her nose when blending ingredients to create the perfect fragrance. Three-dimensional computer models and complex mathematical equations are her tools to make it possible for machines to mimic man. Smell isn't really um, described scientifically, so what we want to do is be able to explain smell very well. And once we can do that, then we'll be able to predict odorants that smell in a certain way. And we hope that that will have um, a positive impact on, say, the perfume industry or any cosmetic industry. For example, if you want to make a lip balm smell like coffee, then we'll be able to predict a way to do that. Nanomaterials in cosmetics include nanoemulsions, where preparations containing oil and water droplets are used to preserve active elements, such as vitamins and antioxidants. Concerns have been raised over the effects of these ingredients because unlike traditional products, they are able to penetrate the skin. The long-term effects may eventually be found in research taking place in another LCN laboratory, where final year PhD student Yaron Silberberg is using an atomic force microscope to investigate how skin reacts to different stresses. The measurements we are making here is basically to see how the cells are affected and how the mechanical properties, like elasticity, the stiffness of the cells, how they are affected by those chemicals and eventually this, the results could lead to better uh, facial creams and uh, different treatments that could help uh, even uh, deal with, with the skin diseases. All of the major cosmetics companies have developed products based on nanotechnology. The industry maintains that the ingredients are not harmful, but this has not lessened the cause for more safety checks and tied to regulation. For the students at the cutting edge of this research, the focus is on exploration rather than the arguments taking place behind the scenes. What we've been doing is developing a theory, so this is based on an equation that's very mathematical. We're trying to find a rate on how, a rate that describes how smell signals are transduced and that is the beginning of our technology. Once we've established this rate, then we hope that we can have products that come off from this. As the debate over the use of nanotechnology grows, Canada is set to be the first country to demand that companies report their use of nanomaterials. The move is designed to gather information on what's out there in order to develop the appropriate regulations. This is Keith Miller at the London Centre for Nanotechnology for In Cosmetics TV.